Welcome to Gainesville, Florida, the swamp, where, as they like to say, only the Gators come out alive. This place is cranked up and ready for a big game. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see the number 13 team in the country, LSU Tigers, taking on another SEC team, the Florida Gators. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Gators will kick this away to get us going. Turner looking to create better field position. Tackled at the 22. Good job on the coverage team. So the LSU Tigers offense comes on the field to open this game. Well, Kirk, you can just feel the emotion, the intensity of this rivalry game right now. Well, one thing we know is you work year-round for a rivalry game, and now it's right before your eyes. Let's see how these guys play today. Gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards here on first and 10. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Takes the handoff. It's Williams. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. And remember, the last time these rivals met, Kirk, these guys dropped the hammer. It got up. And Chris, don't underestimate the mental anguish that that can put on a team. It's important that this defense plays well and tries to get the ball back to their own offense to give them a chance to build their confidence up. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. Grab near the sticks. It's Daniels. They'll stop at the 34. That will be a first down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Handing off on the draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, this defense is stepping up here early in this game, really controlling the line of scrimmage. Just nowhere to go on this last play. And now we've got a third down, a big opportunity for this defense to get off the field. An important third down attempt for this offense. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Finds his target, and it's complete. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. It's an out route, the catch made. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary. And they bring a certain toughness to the catch and run. And completion makes it second and short. And they'll give it to the back. And they'll stop him after a short game. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it. The game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rival games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. Can he get there on the ground? They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go and now four down. This guy did everything that he could to try to get to that first down marker. It looks like he's just going to be inches short, and it's decision time for the offensive coordinator and head coach. For their first drive of the game, they're going to go for it on fourth down. Aggressive start. 
There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Finds his receiver. That's enough for the first down. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. Boy, the defense is in the right coverage here. Looked like they had exactly what they wanted to be able to come up with a stop here on fourth down. But there's the timing between a quarterback and the receiver. They knew exactly where they needed to go. Great timing and a first down. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. They'll try the option play here. And they'll stop him short of the line of game. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. They've run 12 plays on this opening drive. It's now third and short. Scanning the field, it's Nussmeyer. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got it. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Hold on here a second. The replay booth has signaled they want to take another look at this one. Well, they took a look just to confirm that, but it looks like they got it right on the field after the review. The play will stand. Grab down the middle. It's Thomas. He's tackled, but down at the nine-yard line. Defense getting pushed around. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. Chris, that ball gets tipped and goes straight up into the air. That's anybody's ball. The defense does a really good job down in this area expecting the pass. The ball's in the air. Ball gets tipped. Keep in mind, the offense or the defense can get underneath that for a play. The ball hits the ground for an incompletion. Shotgun formation here on third down. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, it is an impressive start, Kirk. In an emotional game like this, to be so efficient, to click like that early, is impressive. Well, it's very impressive and a great way to start for this team because all the buildup and all the hype, now you can just settle in and play your game. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turn starts from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. So the Florida Gators offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And of course, in this game, Kirk, the spotlight shining on these wide receivers. Each team has a really dynamic playmaker out there. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. These two wide receivers are the kind of players that if you can get the ball into their hands, great things will happen. Who has the better day today will be the team that wins this football game. Not much on that play. Brought down short. Second down after that run on the previous play. Grab behind the line, it's Wilson. And the defense swarms, not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, a wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. To the air, it's Mertz. He's got it for a big game. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. 
Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. The Gators starting a new series here on first and ten. On the ground, it's Johnson. And that run produces a decent game. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. The game makes it second and medium. And he'll set up to throw. And it falls incomplete. Important third down play coming up. Offense looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wide out. Works downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. And the Gators are going to keep this drive rolling. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. This secondary knows how to keep their eye on the football and how to break on the ball. I thought the receiver was open. I thought it was going to be a completion. It gives you an idea of how instinctive and how athletic he is by getting into the way of that and knocking it away. Eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Pressure is coming. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Now the defense goes with that nickel, gives him more speed on the field, and I think they did a nice job of taking every option this quarterback had, nowhere to go with the football, and eventually they get the sack. Out comes the field goal team to give it a shot. This is a long way out. They're going to trust the kicker from 56 yards out. Let's see if he's got the distance. And he's got it with ease from 56 yards away. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. The Turner choosing to field this one. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop them this time. Catch made a lot of space now. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. Boy, the tight end here just gets lost in coverage. Quarterback does a good job of kind of working through his progressions. He sees that tight end. His eyes light up. Makes a great throw and a big game for this offense. Game moves the ball right near midfield. It'll be first down. He pulls it in for a big game. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. No problem with the PAT. The lead 14-3. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17, strong job by the coverage team. The Gators offense retakes the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. He's looking deep here. He's got it on the left side for a big game. He has first down yardage at the 46. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. Big chunk gain in the first play of the drive sets him up near midfield in first and ten. To throw, it's Mertz. But quickly. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. A lot of times when a quarterback sees man defense, he wants to get the ball out of his hands as quickly as possible. Put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle or two on the outside and get a big play. That completion makes it second in medium. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. and He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. That run sets up a critical third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. They need a yard here on fourth down to keep this drive alive. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. But it's incomplete. The defense makes a fourth down stop. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he'd do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. With the catch, it's Lacey. They bring him down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. It was a great completion here. Quarterback puts this ball on the money. And, and, and when you talk about LSU and to talk about the history, it's easy to bring up Joe Burrow in 2019. But Chris, you've been following this as long as I have. You know that when LSU is really dangerous, they get consistent play from the quarterback. Doesn't have to be Burrow, but just a guy that can be efficient, be a good leader, and complement the running game. And right now, you're starting to see that from this team. Good completion. Now, can you do it consistently? Because if you can, with the athletes they have around that position, they become a real threat. It's LSU on top as we take a break for the quarter. And as we reach the end of one, the lead is starting to mount. Let's take a quick look at the first quarter stats before we move on. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. And now the handoff. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Off the play fade. Looking to throw the football. Caught near the sticks. It's Lacey. And they pick up the first half of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. That'll put him over 150 yards today, Kirk. He is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. 
Handoff here from the shotgun. Stop after a small gain. Now looking at second and nine. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Offense getting set. It's second down. And here's the handoff. The pickup is six yards, so third down and four now. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. the noise this crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop scanning the field it's Nussmeyer touchdown LSU this quarterback on fire today so still early but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now Kirk as we've seen over the years Chris good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead the second quarter to increase the lead and the final half just to hold on to it they're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. And they'll set up for the PAT. They go up 18 after the PAT. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And it's fielded. Returner trying to make something happen. Returner is brought down. It's the start of the next drive. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. Last possession, they went forward on fourth down, but got stoned. Let's see what they can do this time. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Offense getting set. Second down play here. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play. They're in position to bring him down for a loss. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. It's Mertz. Looks to the left for a quick throw. And he's got his bad open downfield. It'll be enough for a first down brought down at the 43. Well, if I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage roll to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Ball handed off. He's brought down, but a solid game moves the ball across midfield for 41. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. The Gators' offense is on the move now. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. And that's a solid gain before the defense is able to bring him down. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. A gain makes it second and medium. Here's a handoff on a counter. We stop him at the 23. This offense is getting close to the red zone. Well, Chris, you think about over the years with the Gators and their offense, it's always about Steve Spurrier and spreading it out and fun and gun and attacking downfield. But I think these great Gator teams, they have an ability to do what we just saw right here. Pick up a first down on the ground, relying on that offensive line and their running back. Looking for the wideout. 
Catch made, looking for the goal line. Four set of bounds after a nice game. The offense is knocking on the door with a first and goal. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Second down and goal. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Running out of time in the pocket. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Great job by the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Bringing pressure. This one is incomplete right in the back corner of the end zone. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. The coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. He was successful in his first attempt. This one, a chip shot from 25 yards out. Long enough and good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments, come up with a stop here? Here's a shot toward the right sideline. And the pass is dropped. It would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. So after the incompletion, it's second down. They'll win the option. He'll pitch it. Oh, look at the quick cut. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Looks toward the sideline, finds the running back. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. What a nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. Trying to find room, it's Williams. And he's tackled right at the 40 yard line. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid game here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Now it's second down here. And the quarterback dropping back. Let's it fly out of the wideout. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. 
Incomplete for a third straight play. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. And the punt team makes its way out of the field. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the Florida offense retakes the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The sure hands, it's Johnson. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Boy, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back, and a loss of yards, now you're behind the sticks. Went backwards on first down, so it's second and long here from the 10. And the back now goes in motion. Looking to throw. It's Mertz. Makes a quick catch. And they get him down after the completion. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. They'll tackle him for a small gain. Needed a lot more on third and long. The Gators will have to kick this away. The offense will have to punt for the first time this afternoon. With the return, it's Thomas. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And here comes that LSU offense back on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in the last possession. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Second down play coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Slides the quick throw. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Down he goes. A sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. The punt team making their way on the field. It's the two-minute warning. We've got a blowout developing here before halftime. And here comes the punter onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And this punt heads toward the sideline. Doesn't travel very far. And the Gators offense retakes the field. Time is running out before halftime to cut into this now two-possession lead. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Touch made to the 41. That's a nice game getting closer to midfield. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. The quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. Quick throw over the middle. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. So, second down after the incompletion. Back to pass. It's Mertz. Short throw to the back, an easy completion. Defense makes the stop after the completion. 
Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. The clock is still running. I'll have to hurry up here, but it's a crucial third down. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. It's a good job by the defense here on this third down. And now it's going to bring up a big fourth down play and a decision here for the head coach. And the Gators will have to kick it away when it comes for his second punt of the game. The pump will bounce and head out of bounds. That's right near the goal line. Perfect execution. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The offense will take their first 10 out of the half to talk strategy here. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. That deep shot is caught for a big game. And he breaks loose down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Yeah, we're seeing more and more of this in college football. Guys in that slot that got the ability to get downfield vertically. It's a mismatch if you have the right guy. This time they get the matchup that they want, hit it for a big one. And now they'll set up for the point after. And the extra point makes it 28-6. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. And here's the return from inside the five. And the return will be brought down. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. Backed up this close to the red zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. Fires it to the wideout. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. The timeout is called in third stage late here in the second quarter. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? To throw, it's Mertz. Receiver makes the grab. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. One more play before they head to the locker room. Looking to pass here on second down. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. They can't come up with it there. And that's going to do it. Time runs out in the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's gonna be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Gators will kick it deep to begin the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. 
and the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the Florida offense retakes the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. Went it up the middle, but stuff for no game. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Grab behind the line. It's Wilson. The defense makes the stop very close to a first down. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Urgency now for the offense. They'd hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. On third down, it's a handoff. Fighting off the defender. Brought to the turf that made the first man miss on the way to the first down. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you got a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. And then first down, right back to the running game. They try to run inside, but nowhere to go. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Second down play coming up for this offense. To the air, it's Mertz. Tipped and then drops. A chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back. Getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking, interception. This one falls to the ground. But the next tip ball could be going the other way. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. He makes the grab. They keep the drive going. It's a first down of the 46. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. He shreds the tackle. Shows off the moves there, but ultimately, not much of a game. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball, attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. That's caught. It's Wilson. An explosive play, and the offense will set up now inside the 30-yard line. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. The Gators come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. A game makes it second and medium. Takes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Grab near the sticks. It's Webb. They wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch. Gets the first down in the process. And the Gators looking to cash in this red zone trip. He'll hand it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. 
not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Caught behind the line, it's Johnson, and he will be stuffed for no gain. Well, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. 12th play of this marathon march, but it's third down and long. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The Gators trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the seven. And he drops back in the gun. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Needing a score badly, likely four down territory. Here comes third and goal. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. And he's got it. Touchdown, Florida. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. Now the try for the two-point conversion. Looking to pass. It's Mertz. Intercepted in the end zone. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fielded in the end zone. It's Thomas. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. That mighty Bengals offense is back out on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. They'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Well, the offense goes with a counterplay here, and the defense does a pretty good job of slowing it down. Again, you got to be disciplined on defense. Just when you think they're running on the front side, they run that counterplay, and you better be home on the back side. The game makes it second and medium. Using his legs, it's Williams. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Caught in the backfield, it's Thomas. He's tackled short of the 30, but that's good enough for a first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. 
LSU getting set with a first and ten now. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Passes the 40. And an explosive play. Stop finally made across midfield at the 44. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. He hands it off from the gun. The game is three yards, brings up a second down and seven. for the first down. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. And the coach has made the call. Needing to extend this drive, the offense is out there to go for it. Here we go, fourth down. They'll try to run for it. And they pick up the first down, tackle of the 25. That's just mano y mano right there. Offensive line does their job, gets a nice surge there, and the back does what he needs to do to pick up the first down. Empty set now, five wide. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They finally tackle him at the four. It's a solid gain on the pitch and catch. Quick, really nice throw here to the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up. But it was exciting to see would anybody come up with it once it was in the air. Trying to find some room. It's Williams. And he'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. You've got a real shot to come up with a stop here, whether they run it or throw it. You get a stop here, and maybe hold them to three points. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense to get this stop near the goal line. He's got it right near the end zone. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. And this one is getting ugly. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job of this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He 
He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the coverage team ends him in and brings him down. The Gators offense retakes the field. Play action here on first down. Let's it go quickly. It's caught downfield. Solid gain there. Moves the ball out to the 32. You know, you roll the dice here as a defense when you play man-to-man. -man. The thing is, you've got to get pressure on the quarterback. If you don't, he's got time, and now he can look at that defense and figure out where is his best one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he makes a big play there. LSU on top as we take the break for the quarter. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Now if the play fake, he'll look to throw it. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you just have too much time in your hands. You end up thinking way too much. It's your hands a little shaky. Incompletion makes it second down. To throw, it's Mertz. Sideline throw caught, but not enough for a first down. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Looking to throw yet again. Caught near the sticks. It's Badger. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Easy route, easy throw for the quarterback. Good decision here by the offense coordinator on third and short to just get the ball to the playmaker, make that catch, and pick up the first down. The Gators pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. And looking to throw now on first down. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Second and long for this offense after the sack. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. That one falls incomplete, looking for a flag, doesn't get it, brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Incompletion brings up third down for the offense. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Trying for a fourth down completion. And he's going to launch it deep again. Can't connect in the long throw. Incomplete. A fourth down stop. First down here for this offense. They'll hand it off. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark. Inches away. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second inches. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Makes a quick grab. And the game just good enough for a first down. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. LSU has moved into the red zone. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. 
That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Drops back. Pass caught. Can he get in? Bring him down short of the goal line, but it's first and goal from the two. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. First and goal for the offense. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Touchdown, LSU. And the beatdown continues. All the energy really building now. Kirk, if they not careful, this could get ugly. Chris, this offense has been impressive the entire game. And one of the great things about rivalry games is you'll never forget this kind of performance. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. Remember, last time they went for it on fourth down and got stopped. And the opponent went right down the field. See if they can recover from that here. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up with a first down. Hey, listen, this game isn't over yet. The defense can't get too comfortable with this lead. And I know the coach isn't content with giving up plays like that at any point in the game. High completion, good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Back to throw. It's Mertz. Over the middle and incomplete. I think he predetermined where to go with his football. Really did give himself a chance to work through his progressions. Locked into his primary. Tried to force it in there. And it doesn't work out. Incomplete. Second down coming up. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Makes the grab. It's Wilson. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. It's almost like they don't have another receiver to throw the ball to. This guy's been making all kinds of plays today. And this time, he decides to show off some fancy footwork and somehow stays in bounds. Important third down play coming up after that completion. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Oh, a nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. He's got it, and that is enough for a first down. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Just great execution here on this fourth down to keep this drive alive. And what I love is the accuracy from the quarterback and a good job by the receiver knowing where that route needed to be to be able to catch the ball and pick up the first down. Back to throw again. Fires it to the wideout. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. The tackle is made. The offense is now set up with the first and goal for the eight. Well, this defense has played well with a letdown there. A little too comfortable with this big lead at the moment, maybe. Yeah, and I, what I love to see is this offense has not given up. This game has not gone the way they had hoped, but here they are taking a few swings late in this game. This one ends up working out, and now let's see if they can put another play or two together and get the points on the board. First and goal, handoff. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. 
You know, today's not been their day, but the thing you can always hang your hat on is these guys are still competing. They come up with a touchdown here late in the fourth quarter. Can use that as hopefully some momentum into next week. See if they can convert the point after. And it's good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with, the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. That's exactly what we saw right there. They'll run it from the gun. That one takes it across the 30-yard line. Well, I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. And the quarterback keeps it here. Moves his way for a first down to the 35. How impressive these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Kibbe decides to keep it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. With the linebackers and really the quarterback and the defense on this play diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly. This blew in and blew up the option play for a loss. Important second down play coming up. Looking to pass, it's Nussmeyer. Quick throw, testing the middle. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. Man, they're already up big in this game, and now they're taking shots downfield. They're just looking to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football in vertical shots to boot. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. He'll hand it off. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Love those positive yards on first and 10, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll bring second inches, but it sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Play action fake, looking to throw. Catch made on the out route. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, anytime you can have a balanced attack, it's always going to help an offense. And, you know, the previous play, they're running the football. That puts a lot of pressure on the eyes of the linebackers and safeties. They start to think about defending the run and a great job with that play action call to get them out of position and be able to hit that for that conversion. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. takes the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Here we go. Third down close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. On third down, he drops to throw. 
grab behind the line. It's Williams. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. They'll set up with a chip shot on the left hash mark. This one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Florida offense retakes the field. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Finally, they get him a great tackle by the quarterback. Not easy with that size difference. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Second down, we're going to throw it. It's a short completion of the tight end. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. Third down here, time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. And that's the two-minute warning here. This offense desperate to cut into this lead and then try to get the football back. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. With the catch, it's Badger. You look at that at the 44. That's a solid game, getting closer to midfield now. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense, and this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing is right. Big things can happen. Catch man along the sideline, but he's short of the sticks. And heads out of bounds after a decent game. Chris, now that we're in the final couple minutes of this game, it's a good time to just kind of step back and appreciate the job this defense has done throughout the entire game. They've applied pressure. They've been physical at the line of scrimmage. Good job in space. And a big part of the reason that they have such a big lead today. Tries the right with a quick throw. That's complete downfield. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. I feel like this quarterback can make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork, a cruel route against zone. And the quarterback, the only thing is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. And the Gators lining up here on first and 10. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. That's out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Hey, there's the execution that's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. Looking to chuck it again. Caught over the middle. It's Wilson. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. First down, we're going to throw the football. It's a quick grab. Tackle at the eight after the completion. The tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Chris, after this last play, he's now over 400 yards passing on the day. Are you kidding me? The Gators looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Looking to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Florida. 
How about the receiver selling that inside move to give him enough room there to get separation from the corner? Great throw by this quarterback, great execution, and a nice touchdown. Now the all-important extra point. And the PAT is good. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it just outside the goal line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. What a satisfying feeling for this team. Just run out the clock and let the celebration begin. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And a short run there to end the game. 